Good. Yeah, so we've got this S and D now. The uh, next S and the next map's going to be an S and D on lockdown. So uh, it's not one of the more favoured S and D maps. So we'll see how they can do. Yeah. But my prediction is going to be skill. Skill, I'll take it. I think Horizon take a round or two, probably four two, four one. Yeah. But after a performance like that, you ca you can't put your bets on uh, Horizon. It'll be a very unsafe bet to be honest. So, so you're going to do this. You were playing such and destroy. At this point in time, what way would you be taking down lockdown? Lockdown, the defence is like probably the strongest side, so you want to make sure you've got all your your cut off Scott. So you want like uh, corridor, church, and your mannequin side. So they're going to have ARs in all them positions there. If they haven't. Uh, Skillet's going to roll over them. Yeah. It's all about what's going to happen. If a team wins an attack on lockdown, that's put them in great stead there because they can just hold all their defence and they win the game. That's it. So you'll see lots of different like types of attack on this. You'll see maybe some like church rushes, some yeah. mid map rushes trying to mix it up a little bit to catch the other team off guard, so it's be a good game, I think. Do you think they're going to play it slow, or do you reckon they're going to rush this one? Uh, I don't know, I think people tend to take it slow when they're a bit cautious and don't know how it's going to be, but with a game like that, Skillet might think, oh, this is easy. Right. And they could end up rushing in and get caught out by Horizon, go a couple rounds down and then be in uh, big trouble. Mm. So just having confirmation of the game starting now, see if we can uh, jump in. So we are 1-0 up to Skillet in this uh, best of five series, so it's first of three. So uh, if they have, if they win this map, it's not all over yet for Horizon. We have seen uh, two two nil comebacks uh, today already. One from uh, CSC RYS and one for uh, the, uh, Vital as well. Yeah. So it's not off the cards. But Horizon have to pump themselves up here for this game. Let's yeah, jump on with the uh, lockdown. Who do you want to spectate first? Um, probably defenders, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do a defence first. Or no, we'll do attackers. I'll we? no, we'll do it. We'll see what we jump on. Yeah. So the personal favourite. Personal favourite. Uh, I'd say Horizon, because I always like the underdog. To be honest. So. Uh, so my pick of team, like, like the most <laughs> underdog team possibly yeah. here, no? Um, right. Oh, definitely. Let's go on with attack, it's normally uh, we a bit more fun. Yeah, if we can see Skillet winning an attack round here, they're definitely showing their dominant force in this map. So I reckon our best bet to jump on with the bomb carry and see where we get him. Yeah, I'll see who jumps on the bomb first and see uh, where he's going to take it. They might just take it slow and try and wait for Horizon to come them, which would be the smart idea, but after that game they might uh, just go all out. If we jump on with Explicit, let's see... Uh, what their plan is. So it looks like they're going for a B push here, which is uh, quite ordinary. So they uh, are committing quite hard here to B to make sure uh, they're not losing any players anywhere. Because there'll probably be one or two watching B if they can commit four to them too. And that's one down already. As is take, taking out ads. And uh, McCohen's on pocket road. It's 2v4 now. So this could be all over. But her Slayer is still there. He's on pickup drop. And we're going to bang around. Slayer's doing a really good game here. A good game last. It's taking out two now. Three. There with three kills already. Can he get the ace on Misha? And Unreal takes down Misha. That's a 1 0 to Horizon already. It was a defence side, but it's doing well. After the start, Sarah for Skidlight, I really thought they were taking it home. Yeah, and, they uh, got the first two kills in 2v4, and then Horizon pulled out the bag. Unreal and Slayer just going absolutely huge, taking out the rest of the players. Yeah, he did well there. He got a quick Semtex, and he got then the gunshot on it. Pulled yeah. out down too, and I have really to say, good. Horizon did really well on that app. Oh. Let's see how Horizon can do on the defence, see if they can hold this. I know we stay with skill on the de uh, on the defense. See how they're going to do. See if they can come back from this. So we're on board here, quick with Misha. He's pushing down through the pillars. He's going to see can he get a cut off. No sights of anybody through the courtyard as he pushes straight into bottom arc. Spots him pushing in. Spots him real. Drops him real and he's pushing down. Just a little bit of cover. As you can see, he's taking major fire here. He's just waiting for the right chance to go out. Slayer does take down Acid with a uh, exploding car. But that is and Misha taking down two now. Taking second. Pushing through, waiting for the right chance. Concussion yeah, out. He's taking uh, fire here. Yeah. Semtex was followed out there, so he might just get a hit on us. But no signs of a hit marker, so he looks like he's going to. There gets a dive. He's in an absolute storm of a game already. That's it. Misha taking down with Slayer. He's done it. He's Slayer's absolutely absolute owning this game. Aim. Slayer's 6 and 0. The only person unreal with another kill on his team. It's 2v1 now with McCohen versus Ads and Slayer. That's it, we're slaying this. It looks like Slayer's definitely MVP for Horizon at this stage. Yeah, so uh, far. Without him, he's they were they were really on the back foot. So Slayer is really living up to it here. And there you go. McClone taking down Astrid's 11 and a half, one apiece. So we've got McClone versus Slayer. 
to see what we can do. Remember, we've got Slade, the best team or best player at the moment on Horizon, pushing through against McKeown. So I'm not sure if McKeown saw that, but there was bomb down when he killed Ads out in the front. So if he knows the bomb's there, he's be on Slade and he gets the kill. That's yeah, one, one. Well done. McKeown. Let's switch over to Horizon, see how they can do. That was unfortunate there. If, they, if they'd stayed together, they might have been able to make it, but they let uh, McCurran run around as he pleased and get a 1v2. So we're on board here with... If I just try and find a Slayer a second, here we go. Here we go. He's been the top player so far, that's it. He's making his extended six kills so far. You can see quickly he's unloaded both tacticals and he's obviously got a hit. Add somebody around, search and see what we can do. Spots one at useless and gets a quick Zendex out to see can he get it. No thoughts on anybody, so he's continuing back over here towards B. Just keeping tight, not pushing out too far, nice and low. Doesn't want to give out, he's going to let his team players go. Slayer's running the score, he's going to get his first kill, managing to take down McKeown, bit of revenge for the last one there. As he pushed through, keeping an eye on A just to see is any, where the rest of the Sidlite team are. This is exactly what Horizon needs to be doing now, they're on the back foot, they're on the defence, they, they just run down the time and keep the right, keep Quick shot here, he's trying to get the impact. Doesn't Great get it. Here. Here. Unfortunately not to get that kill, that would have been eighth on his streak in only three rounds. Then he's really pushing hard, Slayer is really, do, really living up to his lane at this stage. Um, He's going to give him get like a bit of a run for their money, and I think with this, Slayer might just actually help raise the it. confidence but of Horizon. Skill, I have just taken down two Acid upon Unreal and Misha on Slayer, so that's just ads left, I think. Now, maybe one more. No, that's it, just, just that. I've got ads and Pocket Rocket to so defend now, so we'll see if they can do this. But ads has gone down, Skill, I have pushed A, and Pocket Rocket's got a big job in his hands here. The bomb has been planted, and let's see if he can do this. Pocket Rocket pushing hard, pushing hard enough. Spots one behind him, managing to take out uh, Acid, but explicit returning the favour, taking out Pocket Rocket. Yeah, it's a massive hill for him to climb there. It was a 1v3 situation with the bomb down, and as soon as he made the first kill, they knew exactly where it was. Skit like a, a too well set up to lose a, a situation like that. We stand board to the Horizon here, see if they can uh, pull it back. They did have start off strong, but let's see if they, what they can do. So we're back on board with Slayer here, as you can see he's making a quick rush up through back bridges and real takes the bombs straight through bottom arc. He's holding tight just seeing if he can spot anybody. No sights, but he's going to take it nice and slow. Yeah, I think uh, Horizon have just uh, lost two rounds in a row now. They're a bit, uh, of course, they know they've got to win this S&D, so they're just trying to stay back now and make sure they can secure this round. Not trying any funny business, just trying to secure all the kills they can. He's That's got one stunned in the uh, corridor though. That's and it. he got replied with the centre as well, it's a very nice play for player. Now I've seen him make the move from the far, far end of the map, straight through, and actually took him on. Um, it was a bit of, pretty much a great play, actually, by Slayer to push up yeah. so far and actually get the kill. Misha did manage to get one on towards Pocket Rocket though. He's got one in the bomb, let's go, Slayer with one more down. And I think it's 2v3 two, two now. 2v3 at the moment, for the start. It's 2v2. Two two. And the bomb is down, Slayer is just holding tight, trying to see if anybody's going to push out through top bar towards the corridor, as he doesn't want to go too far. Ads has, has managed to successfully pick up that bomb, so they did not know where that was. And had, Ads got a kill on some McCohen, so this is a 2v1 situation. They did clutch this before Skit Light, but this should be Horizon Ground. That's it, Slayer sees the sights. With the gameplay he's been doing, he should be able to get this, but I'm sure he's going to charge it as hard as possible and uh, just try and keep his team going. Yeah. Uh, if, if he can attract as much fire as possible, let Ads get this plan here B. To and get his uh, plan down, this should be a lot easier for these guys. They can just set up around this bomb. That's it. Make two, their jobs twice. Two one. Be and Slayer with Kitsot saying he gets it. That's 2-2. Horizon is much better than last game. Definitely. You would not think this team just got beat 7-0 on CTF. They are coming back strong now. That's it. I think with, with such a hard loss in the first round, it would be very hard to pick yourself up. But in fairness, Horizon are doing great. Slayer really carrying here in this. Yeah, Slayer 10-2 and two after just four rounds. The rest of his team, is, the post one, they've got is one kill. kill. Slayer is absolutely dominating this S&D right now. If I try and switch over onto the uh, skit light side and see how they can reply to that round. You can see on border we're getting just a couple of flashes out here on Dombey. If you switch over to Sid Light. That was one damn skit light just then. If you missed it, it was pocket, pocket rocket on to McCohen. So we have Misha pushing through here to see what's going on. Just holding quick tight at Ivy. 
just to see is he being followed by anybody. So he's just holding tight at the moment to see what's going on. Going on. So he's pushing through. Keeping an eye on his Slayer left. Slayer took down Acid. That's more kills for Slayer. He's just wrapping him up now. And Pocket Rocket with a nice knife into Misha. That's 1v4 now for Explicit. This should be a horizon round. If Explicit does this, this is absolutely incredible. This is it. Him. This is it. A little bit late. Does he gonna, is he going to get this kill? He's practically one shot. Oh, and, and Slayer gets him as well. Way. Slayer is having an absolute storm of a game. He's completely carrying Horizon here. It's 3 2 to Horizon. They could even take his SD now in this next round. I said, I think SD is probably the game mode that teams leave out way too late yeah. before they start getting used to it. Slayer is clearly a well trained SD player, and Skitlight do not know what to do. Did he really has him on this container. Um, if he can do this, I reckon he's going to put Horizon in for a chance, but they're going to have yeah, to pull out big for the next round of CDF because, yeah. in fairness, I think they've, soon, so like they've had to put the SMD behind them, I think, and just focus on these SMDs right now and just uh, hope that they can just come back from this strong. Yeah. I think Skitlight have been really caught by surprise here, but it's, it, it is the defence for Skitlight, so they have got the advantage. That's it. So we can see we had Acid there in um, Corridor, just holding tight and killing, watching Church to see what's going on. I think we just do a quick concussion out there to see if there's anybody, but no signs of any hit markers. He's just holding tight, just moving around, trying to see if he can spot anybody around A. Misha no picks up the first kill on Slayer, that's their key player down, so we have to see if Horizon can step up their game and win now. That's it. We've Skitlight playing this very slowly. That's it. Mikion obviously getting the, the quick call out there, he made a, a very big reaction to, to something there. No sights, we managed him taking out by Pocket Rock at a church. Misha holding out tick here, watching Ivy just outside man Mannequins before he's pushing out. So they don't want to push too hard. Um, at the end of the day, Horizon are winning 3 2 at the moment. Yeah, so this is last chance to learn for Skillite here. They have to win this round, otherwise they're, they've lost this SD. But they have done well, and I think Pocket Rocket may be one of our only hopes. Let's just check who's still out. We've got Pocket Rocket and Unreal. But as you can see by that scoreboard, you can see how dominant Slayer has been this game. So, we've got three alive for Skitlight and two alive for Horizon, but they have got the defence and the time is ticking down. Misha is just holding tight, doesn't want to push up. It's a great way to cover Ace. We're going to, I think, sweep around the map and see what's going on. Acid's making a move here. Somebody spots someone at the back there. Managing to it. take it. Yeah, that's, it. that's it, he's taking it, and Horizon are pulling it back. 3-3 three, three here. I think I'm going to go on board with Horizon and see if they can win this, as they are probably the uh, lower rated team here. Yeah. That's it, so it's complete clutch here, 3v3 apiece. Say a massive pressure on him to continue to, to, to pull his team up this up this losing battle, but I'm, I think he could possibly do it. Skid like fairly even scores across the board, but uh, Horizon Slay is really doing all the work here, completely carrying the team. So yeah, if Horizon do lose this um, map, I don't think Slayer will be very happy as he has put in all he can to this game. There's no more he could give in this SD. So we're on board here with ads at the moment. As you can see, he's just keeping an eye towards church and fire to see what's going to be done. Um, no movement around fire at all, so he's just going to hold tight. So just run the defense. They don't need to push. They can't afford to push. Um, maybe possibly they were going to try and get skid leg on the back leg, but I don't think or I don't think they're going to try and do that at all. And they have hold got tight. the defense here, so they have got the advantage, but it's whether they can hold it or not. So we've got Unreal just covering up towards Mannequins with the AOR. We've got Ads in the McKeown getting the first kill on Slayer there, which is going to be a huge hindrance for Horizon. And then Ads taking down McKeown. Ads taking shots on someone here at Dom A as well. Or sorry, bombs at A. He's pushing through back there. Quick sight. Pocket Rock takes out Explicit. Unreal takes out Misha. This could be it for Horizon. Just one more player. Acid has a huge task ahead of him now. He's got a 1v3 to win this map for his team. That's it. Shots fired here. Ads, ads unloading completely into useless. You can spot there the concussion coming out. Uh, and that is it. it. Horizon have it. taken that map. That is a well great Well done, Horizon. Great comeback and considering their last game. Yeah. Search and destroy. I have to say, say it really, really, really. Yeah, did them every favour. Definitely something yeah, you want to have. Pocket Rocket right. stepped his ass up at the end there. He got managed to get six kills from about one at the, like, the fifth Two round. So there. it's it's looking well. And Horizon, that's going to be a big boost in their confidence. They've just taken a map off one of the highly contested teams. And they could go on to win this uh, CTF now.